Tonight, as the 6-1 Tigers hosted unbeaten Gorham, Catherine O'Donnell with a nice play at the net for Gorham, who took an 18-10 lead in the first set. Grace Martin had a good game at the net for Biddeford as the Tigers tried to rally, but Lily Barden and Gorham would win the match in four sets. Defending Class A champion Scarborough hosting Greeley, Shaylin Thornton serving up the ace to give the Red Storm a 23-14 first set lead, then Catherine Shaw closes out the set with the kill. Scarborough wins in straight sets to improve to 7-1 on the season. Good matchup in Portland between Chevris and Deering tonight. Emily Elowich serving up the ace for Chevris in the third set. Then after the short rally, Rachel Party with the point for Deering with the soft touch over the net. This match went the entire five sets before Chevris was finally able to pull out the win. It has been a great start to the season for the girls' soccer and volleyball teams at Cape Elizabeth as both entered tonight with perfect 7-0 records. The volleyball team hosted 5-1 your Cape's Erin Manning with the great dig. And Karina Page sets it up for the spike by Megan Connolly that cannot be returned. A little later, Connolly shows off the soft touch at the net for a point. Cape E wins in straight sets. The soccer team battled through the rain as they hosted Greeley. Midway through the second half, Laura Ryer has her header hit off the crossbar, but Maggie Cochran knocks in the rebound to put Cape on top 4-1. Later in the half, Cochran will get the assist on the goal by Carly Chapin, and Cape Elizabeth stays unbeaten with the 5-1 win. The St. Joe's